Good evening and welcome to Poland Daily. I'm Nicholas Richardson and this is the news. European Union leaders criticise the restrictions on freedom of speech introduced by the major social media networks in the United States in the wake of the Capitol riots. Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki announced on Facebook that Poland will always uphold democratic values, including freedom of speech. Owners of social networks cannot act above the law. Therefore, we will do everything to define the framework for the functioning of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and other social platforms. In Poland, we will regulate this with national laws and we will propose that similar laws apply throughout the European Union. Social media must serve us, society, not the interests of their powerful owners. All people have the right to freedom of speech. Poland will defend this right. The health service is examining teachers across Poland for the COVID-19 virus. This is an urgent matter because in a week's time, students from the first to the third grade of primary school will return to school. Until then, school principals may be confident that teachers are not spreading the virus. The teachers themselves will probably be vaccinated in April. The Ministers of Health and Education stressed that the decision to allow full-time schooling for students from grades one to three was not easy, but nor was the decision to keep them at home for additional weeks. In these age groups, remote learning is the least effective and at the same time is the most burdensome for the pupils themselves, for teachers and also for parents. Therefore, the teaching process in grades 1 to 3 may actually bring more effects when it is conducted in a classic classroom environment. We concluded that on the one hand, the risk of fueling a pandemic is not so great while there is a serious risk of damage related to absence from school for children from grades 1 to 3. They should enjoy a normal peer group and participate in education. There is a risk, obviously, but we do not rate it as very high. The teachers also stress that teaching in a classroom ensures more effective learning. Classroom teaching certainly has a better impact on the educational process itself. Children remember more, learn more, and there is an element of competition, motivation, and they approach the whole process differently. And we want the core curriculum to be implemented in the best way. Despite the continuing pandemic, there may be a safe return to school. The question remains whether teachers are at risk or not, which is what you are doing at the moment, which is this mass examination of teachers. And children pose a greater risk in informal contact than in school groups, as long as the school, of course, follows the rules. What precautions will be taken? Junior classes will have their particular times to show up at school. There will be assigned times for walking through the corridor and designated times for air in the classroom. We will take care of hygiene, remind you to wash your hands frequently and cover your face with a mask in public spaces. The latest data from the Ministry of Health shows that there have been 5,569 new cases of coronavirus in Poland. Once again, the highest number was recorded in the Marzowiecki voivodeship with 695 and the lowest in Lubuskia with 89 cases. The Polish Ministry of Health has reported 5,569 new COVID-19 infections and 327 new COVID-related deaths in the country. The total number of confirmed cases of coronavirus infection has now reached 1,395,779 and the death toll has risen to 31,594. The Mazowieckia province has reported the largest number of new infections at 695 and the Lubelskia the lowest at 89. According to the latest data from the Ministry of Health, over 250,000 healthcare workers have already received the coronavirus vaccine. The Polish government is planning to vaccinate 3 million people by the end of the first quarter of 2021. Nursing home residents will receive the vaccine on the 18th of January and seniors over the age of 70 will have the vaccine on January the 25th. The first batch of 29,000 doses of the coronavirus vaccine developed by the company Moderna was delivered to Poland today. Seven laboratories of the Polish Medical Research Agency are testing a drug known on the market under the name of amantadine. In the autumn of 2020, Wodimierz Bodna, a paediatrician and lung disease specialist from Przemysl, began administering this drug to people infected with the COVID-19 virus. According to his claims, none of his patients experienced a severe, a severe form of the disease. Dr. Bodnar wrote on his profile on the internet, 
I argue that with this method of treatment, at least 99% of severe cases in Poland currently in hospital treatment can be stabilised within 48 hours, followed by a recovery period of several days, he wrote. He cited 100 cases. Other doctors were cautious and pointed to possible complications with the use of amantadine, which was actually developed as an antiviral drug. After many weeks of pressure from patients and information from the United Kingdom, which confirmed Dr. Bodnar's research, the Polish government decided to test this substance. Meanwhile, the first batch of the vaccine produced by Moderna arrived in Poland. This vaccine may be stored in a regular refrigerator, and so it is much easier to distribute than the Pfizer vaccine. After checking, the vaccine will be distributed to hospitals. By the end of March, 840,000 doses are expected to reach Poland. Professor Stanisław Kopinski emphasizes the need constantly to increase the number of vaccinations. In my opinion, we are going in the right direction, but we need to accelerate. We have to get to the level of Great Britain, or 200,000 vaccinations daily. The situation is really serious. We do not realize that this is a race. The third AstraZeneca vaccine may soon be delivered to Poland. The application for approval by the European Medicines Agency may be considered on the 29th of January, but the final decision will be made by the European Commission. Poland could receive up to 16 million doses. The AstraZeneca vaccine is potentially more resistant to genetic variation that we see today. Apart from being more effective, it is also much cheaper. It is much cheaper, almost seven times, and can be stored for a longer period of time in a normal fridge, and no deep freezing is required. Since the 27th of December, vaccination with the Pfizer and vaccine has been carried out in Poland. Patients who experience complications after vaccination for COVID-19 will receive compensation from the government. Health Minister Adam Niedzielski has announced details of the compensation fund. Depending on the severity of the complications, those affected will receive from 10,000 to 100,000 Polish swati and must require at least 14 days in hospital as a result of the vaccination. So far, there have been 37 adverse reactions, 32 of which were mild, four were serious and only one was severe. Only people who require at least 14 days in hospital will be entitled to receive compensation. This is the first condition. The second group of people who will be entitled to receive compensation will include those who suffered anaphylactic shock and because of that they require a minimum of 14 days in hospital. These are the two conditions. However, so far, only one from 250,000 vaccinated people has had a side effect and qualifies for the compensation. As you may remember, Poland was shocked by the so-called women's strike last autumn. Despite the quarantine and the epidemic, feminists took to the streets to demand free access to abortion and redress for other perceived grievances. Now it seems emotions have subsided and fewer responding to further calls for action. Only 11 protesters holding banners and rainbow flags took part in yesterday's protest held in Warsaw's city centre. On the one hand, people know that they can't reach their goal, which is to change the decision of the Constitutional Tribunal because there is no legal basis for it. People also know that their demonstrations won't force the government to resign. The number of police officers was much larger than the number of protesters. The priorities have changed now. The social anger is caused by the pandemic and the lockdown, especially among the business owners. The enthusiasm of young people is much less durable than the enthusiasm of people who are older. The protests may take place again in the future. Protests organized by the nationwide women's strike were organized in many Polish cities after the announcement of the Constitutional Tribunal's decision on the 22nd of October last year, which drew that abortion in the case of fetal disability or its life-threatening incurable disease is inconsistent with Poland's constitution. That's the news. Thank you for watching. Stay with us for the weather, Poland Daily Business and more programmes. But from me, it's have a good night and a better tomorrow.